What is going on, people? Joe here for Gamer Toys, and welcome back to another pickup episode. I have some awesome stuff. I attended the King County Toy Show last week. What a great show. There was three buildings, jam full of stuff, and this is just some of the stuff that I grabbed and brought home with me. I could have bought a lot more, let's be honest. I could have bought a ton more. But uh, I went in with the budget, I stuck to my budget, and I even came home with money in my pocket. So I'm happy with the stuff I got. I got a lot of good deals. A lot of the vendors there are willing to work with you. And I had a blast hanging out with Tommy from uh, Pizarro's Pieces right here, rocking the shirt. We had a great time digging through this show and hunting for that retro goodness. So let's see what I got. I don't really have to say much about this. I picked up a pretty much complete vintage TMNT party wagon or the turtle van. Um, it's in really nice shape. There's just a few uh, minor things like the tab on this side is broken slightly. I mean, it still functions. I'm missing the, what is it? It's like a radar dish piece that goes here. Um, we have the we have the mirrors with the guns on the side and we have the Stinko bomb. And then we have the other one which says sleep dust. Pretty much complete. It's gonna look great on display. This is the first time I've owned one in like 10 years. I sold the other one that I had. I'm just glad to add it back. Uh, the stickers are in pretty much really good shape. There's only one right here. This foot stinks uh, sticker is ripped. But other than that, it looks great. And I'm happy with this purchase. Let's dig into the bag of wonders. All right. I grabbed another carded Congo figure. And this is Kahiga or Kahiga. I think they pronounce it Kahiga in the movie. This is one of the uh, the few carded figures that I still needed. And I got this for three bucks. Price tag, unfortunately, right on the card. But I mean, it's a Congo figure. Who cares? I need the two deluxe figures on the card. This line will be complete. It's got your normal wear from being how old it is and probably being tossed around because besides me, no one really cares about Congo figures, but I love this figure and I love the Congo line and I love all of the wasted paper that they use for this packaging. All right, what else can we find here? Uh, oh yeah, I mean, come on, you can't go wrong with this. The Stegosaurus from the original uh, Jurassic Park series one line. It is JP07 right on the leg. Always look for that, you know it's legit. It's just awesome. Man, I love the real dino-like skin. That that selling point was awesome. These are just great toys. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't have that piece, but really when you find these in the wild, how often do they? Uh, you know, maybe I can get Ted Brothers to cast me a piece. Huh? Man, the paint is great. Uh, there's a little bit of chipping on the tail. Overall, it's, it's really nice. There's a little bit of a uh, wear on that plate, but I love the lifelike skin. I mean, I guess that's what a dinosaur would feel like. We'll never know, or will we? It's an awesome toy. I love it. So the Stegosaurus. Continue with the Jurassic Park theme and Triceratops. Also from the Jurassic Park Series 1 line. It's got a JP06, and once again, he's also missing, or she, is also missing the dino damage piece. I had this as a kid. I didn't have the, the Stegosaurus, but I had the Triceratops. And uh, my favorite thing is that. It's such a simple gimmick. You squeeze the body and the trike's head goes up and down. It's awesome. Once again, it's got the same uh, rubbery texture skin, which is great. They really need to bring this style skin back to the Jurassic World line. Um, it would be, it'd be a top seller, guaranteed. There's some wear on the horns, but other than that, this is a great looking, great looking dinosaur. I love the paint scheme on this. What's next in the bag of wonders? All right, I picked up another Sewer Samurai Leo. As you guys uh, might have known in my last video, the one I had was missing the shoulder pads. So when I saw this one complete for five bucks, I grabbed it. Bag of wonders, bag of wonders. The Cheapskate, this is the Cheapskate from the TMNT line. Um, it's awesome. It uh, has everything except the flag. I'm pretty sure there was a flag that went in that hole, and it's cool. You put your turtle on there, they roll around, you push this lever, and you can uh, pop up that foot right there. Knock some foot soldiers over. The booth I got this, the guy was selling all of his stuff. The entire booth was half off. This was marked at 12, so I got it for six bucks. Bag of wonders. Am I gonna say that every time? I don't know. Damn. All right, let's open up this guy. Ground Chuck. 
this ground chuck is in beautiful, beautiful condition. The paint is immaculate. It looks like he was opened and never played with. And he is complete. I believe he's complete. He comes with a uh, crazy looking machine gun. And he comes with another crazy looking machine gun with some kind of twisty tie piece. And then he comes with what looks like a crossbow. Not sure. I believe it's a crossbow. If only Playmates would do paint like this on their current line. Ugh. I miss the 90s. I really do miss the 90s. He's got so many different colors. He's so vibrant. Next up, this is none other than Dirt Bag. <laughs> I mean, would we really, I mean, would they honestly put out him again in the current line and call him Dirt Bag? I feel like they wouldn't name a toy Dirt Bag nowadays. Everyone's too sensitive. So he comes with his backpack, which can plug in via a uh, peg and hole system right there. And he has his little pickaxe thing, which can sit in there, which is great. He has a little knife in his hand, and then he comes with this crazy uh, laser machine gun thing. I don't know. Maybe it's like a uh, jackhammer. That's what it's called, a jackhammer. Thank you, file card. Now I don't feel as stupid, but I still do. Dirt bag, awesome figure. He's got great paint as well. He's only wearing one boot. I really don't see any paint wear. I can't remember exactly what booth. There was so much TMNT there that I can't remember what booth I got him from. So let's see who's next. I had to get this guy. I've been looking for another one. I believe I'm missing one sword, and that is Usagi Yojimbo. This guy is in much better condition than my current one that I have. That one's getting put in a bin to be sold. Um, this guy's great. He's got just a tiny bit of rub on his face. Other than that, he looks awesome. He comes with his long bow uh, sword thing. He comes with his little knife. And he comes with his bigger katana. And I'm pretty sure he's supposed to have a second samurai sword, which is a little smaller. So uh, I'll be on the lookout for that. Probably my favorite. I don't even want to say my favorite team and T character because technically he's not a team and T character. He was a crossover, but he's one of my favorite characters from the team and T universe. Up next, oh yeah, another JP Dinosaur. I really went on a JP Dinosaur buying frenzy. This is the Dilophosaurus. His legs are kind of crazy. They're like, I'm gonna have to heat that plastic up or something and kind of unbow his legs so he'll stand. I still remember the day I got this at Kmart. This was the first dinosaur that I got from the Jurassic Park line. I got him and I got Dennis Nedry. Those were the first two toys from Jurassic Park I got. And I probably wanted him and Dennis Nedry because that was the scene I remember. Dennis Nedry getting his ass eaten by a Dilophosaurus. You squeeze him, put his head in water, suck up the water, and he spits it out. I would assume this thing is moldy as hell inside. Up next, TMNT Turtle Cycle. And this thing is complete. Still has the rubber band, the slingshot. It has the sidecar. This thing's great. It's a very simple design and pretty much any of the TMNT figures that have the swivel wrist or I should say the swivel forearm pretty much can ride this bike, which makes this uh, really great for playability because you can put anyone on it. Empty bag, up next. All right, the Yellow Ranger. I still need it, or as you can see, my Power Rangers is down there. I'm missing the eight inch Yellow Ranger for some reason. I have her box, but I didn't have her loose. And this is the the one from 1993. It's not the karate action or the talking one. And it's just, it's really clean. And the yellow is really bright. Um, the gloves and the boots are still white. They're, it hasn't yellowed at all. Uh, she's missing her blaster, but I'm pretty sure I have an extra blaster. So I saw her on the table. She was six bucks. You can't beat that, and I grabbed her. Last one, this is Scumbug. Scumbug is one of my favorite TMNT figures, mostly because he has a hinged jaw, and when you turn his head, his jaw hits up against the collar and kind of makes like a bug sounding noise. If you haven't, take the time, look up some pictures of the Scumbug figure, and look at the sculpt. You can't beat it. So the paint, once again, on this is great. I'm pretty sure I got Scumbug, dirt bag and ground chuck from the same seller and just awesome condition. So he comes with his backpack. I'm missing one hose. We'll fix that later. But this little hose, there's supposed to be two of them. They come from the backpack and they plug into the front of the chest. And then this longer hose 
goes to the side of the gun here. And the backpack says turtle kill. Awesome figure. He's also supposed to come with four little orange cockroaches, I believe. Um, those are also missing. So I just need to pick up a, another hose and those cockroaches and I will have a complete scumbug. Awesome looking figure. Um, I had this figure and I sold them a couple of years ago. And, uh, you know, I regret selling a lot of those TMNT figures. So now I'm trying to build back up the collection. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this pickup video. Um, I got so much awesome stuff at the Kane County Toy Show. And let me just say right now, this isn't everything. I have another box down there with some more goodies in it that I got from Tom of Pizarro's Pieces. Once again, repping the homie. Um, that's going to be a separate video. Uh, I didn't want to make like a half hour long video. Some of you might have enjoyed that, but I wanted to try and keep uh, this video kind of short. I know everyone doesn't have a whole lot of time. And uh, so that's going to be a separate video. It will more than likely be my next pickup video. So make sure you stay tuned if you want to see what Tom gave me. You know, from Jurassic Park, Ninja Turtles, Power Rangers, and Congo. I had an awesome King County. It was an awesome first experience, and I'm definitely going to be going back. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.